Hi there! Every year, a lot of conceptual motorcycle models are created throughout the world. Some are created to really go into production in due time, and some simply demonstrate a new technological solution for the use of future models. And today, we present to you the 10 Most Amazing Future Motorcycles. Akrapovich Full Moon Concept Motorcycle the Full Moon Concept Motorcycle from Slovenian exhaust pioneers Akrapovic may not be the result of a full moon, taking its name from the large aluminum and carbon 30-inch wheel, but its design and look are nothing short of unique. The Akrapovic Concept offers further improved performance features such as two modified custom-made exhausts, automated steering to reduce the amount of visible cables, and its hydraulic suspension that can keep the bike upright when parked. The concept features an SNS knucklehead 1524cc engine. The body and frame are made entirely of sheet metal and is an extension of the exhaust system. Designed as a continuation of their 2011 Morsis bike, the Full Moon manages to move the story forward while presenting itself as a completely different, exciting prototype machine. Yamaha Motoroid the Yamaha Motoroid concept is an intelligent, AI-enabled, self-riding, self-balancing electric motorcycle that looks more like a sci-fi movie prop than a fully functioning motorcycle concept. The futuristic concept utilizes new technology to allow the bike to remain upright, even standing firm when forcibly pushed, and it can drive autonomously too. The Yamaha Motoroid's artificial intelligence is pretty clever, and it's able to recognize its rider using biometrics and facial recognition, and what's more, it can even react to hand gestures, making it able to come when called, start the bike, and turn it off. To make the connection between human rider and motorcycle even closer, Yamaha has designed the Motoroid with the help of psychologists, who came up with the idea for the strange wings that hug the rider's rear. According to Yamaha, these rear wings gently squeeze the rider's lower back when the bike travels at frightening speeds and offers reassuring caresses to keep the rider calm. Yohammer J1 The Yohammer J1, claiming the title of the first production electric bike with a 125-mile range, features an aluminum chassis and plastic bodywork. It has a top-rated speed of 75 miles per hour. The battery pack is situated below the rider, while the electric motor and controller are in the rear wheel, supported by a single side box section aluminum swing arm. The twin front swing arms employ hub center steering. Each end connects to a horizontal shock absorber within the chassis. The bike is equipped with a reverse gear for ease of parking, while turning the throttle forward provides braking and regenerative battery power. The disc brakes are used for low speed braking. The handlebars and foot pegs are adjustable. The Yohammer has no central instrument panel and data is displayed by LED windows in the rearview mirrors. Zek OO Japanese designer Koza Netsu, with his firm's Nug design, proposes a rethink of the typical electric bike with Zek OO. He's abandoned the typical fork and tube frame chassis in favor of an all aluminum beast with a single sided swing arm in back and hub centric steering up front. The bike can go 55 to 85 miles on a single charge, has a top speed of 75 miles per hour, and takes 6 hours to charge. Weight is a hefty 616 pounds, due primarily to the lithium-ion batteries hidden under the slick nose cone. So, while it's not exactly in the superbike club, it still stands up in the all-electric crowd. Honda Riding Assist Honda is one of the pioneers of developing the new age technology for cars and bikes alike. Recently, Honda Motorcycles unveiled a unique feature for its motorcycles, the Honda Riding Assist. It is an all-electric concept motorcycle which continually assesses its position. Furthermore, it can also move the handlebar. Thus, it makes sure that the motorcycle always stays in an upright position. This feature is very helpful while riding the motorcycle in heavy traffic. The auto-balancing function is always on, even when the rider sits on the bike. When the bike comes to a dead stop, the rider need not put their feet on the ground for balance. The motorcycle balances itself, even while riding at very low speeds. This is very useful for stop and go or slow speed traffic in urban cities. Once the rider gets off the bike, it can even follow the rider wherever he or she goes, such as moving into the garage. 
The BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 motorcycle is the latest incarnation of BMW's Vision Next series, which celebrates 100 years of the German brand. It is a bike that has self-balancing systems to keep it upright both standing and in motion. Several systems, one BMW calls a digital companion, which offers riding advice and adjustment ideas to optimize the experience, and one called the visor, which is a pair of glasses that span the entire field of vision and are controlled by eye movements that correlate to return active feedback about road conditions to the rider while adjusting the ride of the bike continuously, depending on the rider's driving style. It also purports to use a novel matte black flex frame that's nimble enough to allow the bike to turn without the joints found on today's motorcycles. The idea is that when the rider turns the handlebars, it adjusts the entire frame to change the direction of the bike. At low speeds, only a slight input is required, while at high speeds, it needs strong input to change course. This should increase the safety factor of riding a bike so a small twitch at 100 miles per hour isn't going to shoot you in an unexpected new direction. The Kawasaki J is a three-wheeled electric narrow track vehicle. It has two front wheels with a handle attached to each wheel. The front wheels can stay close for high-speed maneuvering or set further apart in cruise mode. Looking something like a Tron light cycle in Kawasaki lime green livery, the J is able to morph between riding positions. Sport mode that allows the rider to carve through corners at high speeds and a higher stance or comfort mode, in which the distance between the front wheels are widened for a more relaxed urban cruising style. Steering-wise, the J has neither a wheel or handlebars, instead employing two levers that seem akin to those found on zero-turn ride-on lawnmowers. Details of the all-electric vehicle's drivetrain are scant, but Kawasaki says the J concept makes use of its proprietary battery management technology and Gigacell, a high-capacity nickel-metal hydride battery. Neutron Bike Parker Brothers' vehicle, named the Neutron Bike, puts out a top speed level of 100 miles per hour. Further, it uses no gas or combustion engine power. The Neutron Bike runs entirely on an electric motor system. With a fully charged system running on a lithium-ion battery pack, the bike currently travels up to 80 miles. Oh, and there's no room for a passenger. The Neutron Bike is a one-person vehicle only. The gas version is already pegging a price tag of at least $55,000 at retail, so market watchers expect the electric bike to hit the range a slight bit higher. Both bikes are early entries into what will likely be the template for futuristic motorcycles over the next 10 to 15 years. BMW K75 Alpha Bullet Bike Designer Mehmet Durek Erdem and builder Mark Atkinson have joined forces to bring to life the BMW K75 Alpha Bullet Bike. The custom-made design is based on a Salt Flats Racer concept. The construction of the custom bike took a long time, as Erdem did not have someone to build it. This changed when Erdem decided to work with machinist Mark Atkinson of Salt Lake City to build the bike. Atkinson could not get in touch with Erdem at first, however, he went ahead and began working on the bike anyway. He had a wrecked BMW K75 motorcycle which he used to construct the chassis for the engine. The aerodynamic nose of the Alpha was made from a combination of basalt and carbon and basalt blend. The basalt is a lava rock. It is extruded into strings and woven into a cloth similar to carbon fiber. The Alpha bullet bike is powered by the K75 740cc inline three-cylinder BMW engine. The engine is similar to the M10 and the S52 car engines. The Alpha Bullet Bike could probably be made street legal as it has lights, turn signals, and a horn. However, according to Mike, the bike is not the most user-friendly bike out there. Lazarus LM847 A French motorcycle manufacturer named Lazarus builds and sells a limited edition Maserati-powered motorcycle named LM847 that's unlike anything you've ever seen. As its name loosely implies, the bike is built around a 4.7-liter V8 that's normally found between the fenders of a Maserati Gran Turismo. It makes 470 horsepower at 7,000 RPMs and 457 pound-feet of torque at 4,750 RPMs. Stop for a second and think about this. 470 horsepower in a motorcycle that weighs less than 900 pounds? It's basically an engine with a seat and wheels attached to it. Lazarus promises the LM847 goes from 0 to 90 miles per hour in just a few seconds. 
It rides on four 17-inch wheels wrapped by Michelin Power Cup Evo tires, and it relies on eight piston brakes up front that work with an ABS system to bring the action to a stop. A trick independent suspension allows it to lean into turns. The LM847 is priced about $225,000, which seems like a small price to pay for such an out-of-this-world machine. Production of the LM847 is limited to just 10. That's all for today. Write in the comments which of these motorcycles you like most, and don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.